Hey friends. Hey, I'm here in uh, Arlington Cemetery and I just wanted to wish you a very happy Monday. And uh, it's kind of cold and windy here in DC. Uh, really fascinating as we've gone throughout our weekend releasing strategic prayer over our nation. You know, we watched, um, you know, we really honestly, we prayed through the storm, okay? And, um, you know, rain, cold, just crazy weather. But I'm just, you know, I looked at the weather report today. I'm like, I'm just taking this prophetic because today there's just this really strong wind blowing through D.C., gusty winds, and um, really believing that wind's bringing a shift. And then the next five days, five days in D.C. are sunny. And so believing for a shift and for a breakthrough. Um Again, I'm here in Arlington Cemetery. We are getting ready to make our exit, traveling to uh, Lebanon, Tennessee today to teach tomorrow at the training center. I want to invite you to join us. Uh, I am doing a prophetic intercession training. Actually, there's several components to it, but it's called How to Be a City Taker, and prophetic intercession will be a main staple of it. But, you know, as we start our week together and... I'm walking here in Arlington Cemetery, and I have a few prayer points for our nation that I'm going to release at the end of this video, because we really need to be praying and being here boots on the ground. There's some things that I'm seeing in the gate of our nation that are significant and pivotal for this moment in history, and I really need your guys' prayers uh, of intercession to join ours. And so, you know, of course, in Arlington Cemetery, if you've been here before, um, you know, you'll see the JFK's tomb way up there. And it's just a sea, as we know. It's just this massive sea. And they call it a shrine, our nation's shrine. And it's just such a surreal and beautiful thing to think of all of the ways these men and women have honored our nation and given their life. And as I've been walking around this morning, you know, I, I hear this question like as we all start our week, and, and this is the, the primary question. You know, we do the mundane, we get up Monday morning, most of us start our week, but this is the primary question that I think we all have to ask ourselves. And it's this, what will you give your life for? Many of us will not um, lay our life down for our nation, but really, you know, what are you giving your life for in the day to day? Um, Psalm tells us, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And we're really fighting for that in this spirit. America is at this pivotal and significant tipping point. And so I really believe uh, we're fighting for this in this spirit. And uh, I want you to just ask yourself that as you start your week, what will I give my life to and what will I give my life for um, there's three prayer points I really want us to pray together. Of course, we know that Washington, D.C. is a main gate for our nation, uh, specifically governmentally, but in many ways. And, you know, I haven't been to D.C. in a couple years, but really I want to share something. I had a dream, and I've shared this before, but I had a dream at the end of last summer, long before COVID hit, so I guess over a year ago now, and I saw this, um, this tsunami coming from China. And the Lord said, you need to pray for our nation. And I want to share with you, I've been sharing this as I travel, but I really believe, you see, there's a spirit of tyranny and communism trying to take over the land. And it's very evident here in D.C. A very, um, I don't in any way want to curse this city, but we really need to pray for an opening in D.C. We need to plead the blood in every area um, they're boarding up businesses. My guess is, I don't know if they're preparing for riots, what they're doing. But there's businesses boarded up here. Very locked down city. Um, just really very evident, that spirit of tyranny here. Um, and so I'm asking you as prayer partners and prayer warriors to plead the blood over our nation in these critical days. We know God's heart for America. We know that these men and women here in Arlington Cemetery, man, they gave their life for our freedom. They gave their life that, that we would be uh, able to operate in freedom. And so we stand 
with these men and women today. And I'm asking you to specifically, you know, Psalm says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people are his choice inheritance. And so this is our inheritance and legacy. We're literally fighting for the soul of our nation. And I just wanna say being boots on the ground here, that that spirit is clearly trying to infiltrate and so we are a people of prayer and we know where to turn that to, right? We have got to be praying that, that that's broke. So, Father, I thank you and praise you for the United States of America. Oh, God, I thank you and praise you, Father, for men and women who have given their lives, oh, God. God, for the mothers and the sons and the daughters who have given their life for our nation, who have said goodbye to loved ones for those who have stood and fought and god we stand with them today god we stand with them today that we will return as the united states of america god that this is what we will give our life for in every way god father we know that we have been crucified with christ that i no longer live but christ lives in me Sorry about that. Didn't plan to get so emotional, but it's just such a surreal moment to stand here and to witness what's going on in our nation. And I'm so grateful for you who have stood with us in these moments and in these times. You know, let's really be crying out for our nation today, crying out for the election tomorrow. But you know, it's not just the election because the election will come and go like many elections do. But I think my heart is what will the next generation, uh, what will we hand the next generation? What, what will their inheritance and legacy be? And I pray that we will be a nation uh, that's founded and grounded in the Lord that America will be great because our God is in, and our trust is in him. And so I thank you so much for standing with us. We love you guys. Your prayers um, are, are, are tipping the scales of heaven. Keep praying. We're standing with you. I bless you today.